is this Christmas song the saddest Christmas song of all time? This theory says yes. When I listened to Walking in a Winter Wonderland, uh, I thought it was beautiful. It's kind of haunting. It, it makes you feel a certain way. But then when I read the history of the song and the potential theory that was surrounding it, it made me realize that this song is actually really sad. Sleigh bell ring, are you listening? In the lane, snow is glistening, a beautiful sight. We're happy tonight, walking in a winter wonderland. Later on, we'll conspire as we dream by the fire to face unafraid uh, the plans we've made walking in a winter wonderland. Now, this song, obviously, you guys have heard a million times, but there was something interesting about that line. Later on, we'll conspire as we dream by the fire to face unafraid the plans that we've made. I thought to myself that sounded really haunting. There was something really sad about that particular line. And something you'll learn about Christmas songs in general is that a lot of Christmas songs are just straight up sad. So watch this. When you look up Winter Wonderland, there is this uh, little synopsis that comes up. All right, so here's the synopsis, all right? Walking in a Winter Wonderland proceeds with caution. This one is actually kind of a bummer. Long story short, the song was written by a guy named Richard B. Smith in 1934 during the height of the Great Depression. While Smith was in a sanitarium dying from a case of tuberculosis that would claim his life in the following year, the eponymous Winter Wonderland is a dream world that he desperately wanted to escape with his beloved wife, Jean, whom he married one year before getting diagnosed with his terrible illness. Wow. So basically, Walking in a Winter Wonderland was written by a guy who was sick with tuberculosis. The theory is that he wrote the song as some type of dream, like an illusion that he got to walk outside. A lot of people don't realize this, but having tuberculosis back in those days, even now, you have to quarantine with TB, right? And quarantining can be weeks at a time. Weeks at a time, you're quarantining. You can't leave the house. You can't do anything. You can't go anywhere, right? It's, it's ra actually really sad. And so to imagine that this guy sat down and he wrote a song dedicated to his wife, imagining what it would be like to finally step outside of the hospital room, to finally get out of quarantine, to finally be free and allowed to just live his life is really, really sad. Because at the end of the day, after writing the song and after releasing it, he actually died without ever leaving the hospital. He died without ever leaving his room. Because again, he had tuberculosis all the way up until the point of his death. I mean, I mean if you think about the, the song Walking in a Winter Wonderland, there's actually a lot of sad songs that sound like this song, right? Uh, the, you know, A Blue Christmas. There's a blue Christmas without you. Like, a lot of people don't realize just how sad a lot of these songs are. And I, I think it's about time that we began to uh, do more research on that, right? Christmas time is sad for a lot of people. It's a sad holiday and, 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 and people don't feel great. But I feel like this story in particular is interesting and it really connects the dots and humanizes the Christmas experience for people. I think it really brings us together and helps us realize that Christmas is not a happy holiday for everybody. Now, this theory, again, we don't know if it's true or not, but if it is true, that has to be one of the saddest Christmas songs ever that I've ever heard. And that's super sad. Okay.